They see I be got me seeing soul. They high bridge in my eye beams, but I've been living blindly. Gave my soul up for perfect timing. A desert cat reinvented by me. I'm crazy as that. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm actually going to show you guys how to get Soul Reaver 2 up and running on PC. It took me a while to figure this out. Um, I know there's probably a lot of people out there who are pretty frustrated with the fact that the PC version of this game is pretty hard to get up and running. So um, I figured I'd just kind of give you guys a little tutorial and show you how I was able to figure out how to finally get it running for me. So the first thing you're going to need if you're using an AMD or NVIDIA graphics card is you need to get this Afterburner MSI. I'll leave a link in the description below. And we're going to go through this step by step. I'll try to make it as easy as possible for you guys. So the first thing we're going to do, go to the Afterburner website and just boom, download Afterburner. Not that hard. It's going to give you this zip over here. I'm going to stop it because I already preloaded, pre-downloaded it. And uh, so we're going to go over here. You're going to want to extract all that, uh, you know, extract all 7-zip. Usually I just use 7-zip. So uh, we're going to just say extract to, you know, make a file for it, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure you guys know how to do that. Open this up. Go to the EXE. You're going to OK. Obviously, you want to do it in English right here. You just click Next. It's pretty easy so far. Accept the terms. Next. You need Rivetuner Statistics Server. This will come with it, but just make sure that the green check mark is on it because this is actually the thing that we need right here to help us run. Soul Reaver properly. So just next. Um, we're just going to go ahead and put this in the program files next. You want to install it. Let's give it a second. Okay. click next set the terms it's going to download the Rivetuna statistics server um, as you can see it is a separate installation but it will do it automatically so don't be alarmed the reason that we need this uh, it's currently active install process will be aborted okay don't worry about that it's because I already installed it it's all good finish after you're done with that just finish so the game here we go I don't need to read that I already read it you'll get this what's going on is have you played Soul Reaver 2 and tried to like eat the souls um, devour the souls and it doesn't work the reason for that is the game is running on modern graphics cards way too quickly it this game should not go anything above 60 frames per second anything above 60 frames per second and the game can't recognize that you're holding down the devour soul button which is why you're not able to devour souls so once we get this opened okay you're gonna go to settings on screen display right here under frame rate limiter compatibility properties just go to more click more you're gonna get this screen you see right here it says frame rate limit I've already previously put it to 60 because you don't want the frame rate on this game to go anything above 60. Anything above 60 and the game will break, it will crash, and you will not be able to play it. So make sure that that's 60. Just minimize that. Exit out of this. Oh, my bad, guys. Push OK first. All right, minimize that. Now you need to go to where you are playing the game from. This process works on Steam. It also works on GOG. I personally have been, been playing this game on GOG. So I'm going to go to my GOG account. Soul Reaver 2. Now, this is another very important step. What you need to do is hit the play and let the game boot up. wait for it to get to the menu now back out now that you've backed out you need to open up your task manager and make sure it's still running in the background that that so we were still running in the background okay so go to your task manager now we need to find or go up here go to details now you need to find the exe for soul reaver 2 
right here once you find it right click set affinity here is another huge issue as to why this game is not running on PC see all these processors modern graphics cards have a lot of cores a lot of processors click the all processors button because all that you need for this game is two processors that's it you only need two cores anything above that and the game will start getting confused and the graphics card won't understand the language of the game itself so just make sure it's only two you're gonna click OK make sure it's running don't end task or anything you know just minimize that now go back to your game okay so let's go ahead and test this out real quick uh, I know not everybody has had this issue but I know with me a lot of the times uh, like whenever I'm trying to play this game the very first thing I notice is that the opening video looks like shit like it's it's crazy it's all pixelated you can't even really see what's going on so most of the time it's like a little box in the corner so now that we have done all that let's see what happens Once well, you look at that, it actually works. Interesting. Now, I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch this whole cutscene. So, I'm going to go ahead and edit this later. And um, I'll come back to show you guys that the game's still running once the cutscenes are over. But, that'll be in the future. So, take it away, future me. And we're back, guys. So now that cutscene is over, and as you can see, you can devour souls, you can move around, we are good to go. Now I have tested this out for a little while, it seems to be working pretty well. Um, feel free to tell me if you guys have any different kinds of experiences. Um, but yeah, hopefully this will work for you, and you can actually finally play this game. Um, what's really cool about it, what I've been enjoying, is the fact that I can play in a higher resolution now. I mean, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? Nice. And, uh, yeah, so everybody have fun. I hope to help you out. And please leave a like, comment, subscribe. For the love of God, subscribe. I really would like to get above 500 subscribers. Uh, watch me get destroyed. But, yeah, so until next time, everybody take it easy. Late.